So who would like to share what the, um, the words that they use to explain how you can use a ruler to measure an object to the nearest half inch? Ethan, what did you say? Okay, so look for the one on the far left side. I found it. On the right of the one is a yard, not the That was pretty good. That was a pretty good description because I found the large line and then I found a lot of little ones and then I found kind of like a medium line. So that was really a good description. Good job. Anybody else want to share? Jaden. Okay, find an inch. Middle of the ruler. <laughs> oh, the middle of the inch of the one. Okay, I found it. Okay, so that would be the half inch. That helps me find it. Did anybody do anything different? Say anything? What if this is my first time using a ruler? My ruler starts here, and then there's like this zero right here, and then it starts all these little marks, and then it goes to one. If you were going to give me advice on how to use my ruler to measure something, what advice would you give me? I've never, I, I've never, so I'm just going to put, if this is my line, oops, very lightly. Okay, this is my line and I want to measure how many inches it is. I'm just, is that going to work for me? No. No. So I'm looking for what kind of instruction can you give me to show me how to use my ruler appropriately? Jana. Yeah, exactly. Which end would I put? Um, on, on the left side. Okay. So right there. Okay, so I have, it hits the four, and it happens to hit that medium line. That was totally accident. <laughs> it happens to hit that line between the four and the five. Anybody tell me about what that is? <laughs> what do you think, Andy? Four and a half inches. So. Um, but I do have one more question about this. She told me to put the end of my ruler at the line. Yeah. And we decided that it was the left side. Is that completely ac an accurate statement? No. Jalen, what's wrong with that statement? You have to yeah, you have to line it up with the zero because my ruler ends right here, but that's not where the zero is. So that's not where the measurement starts from. The measurement starts from where the zero is. So make sure that you're thinking about that when you're making your descriptions. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our lesson today. We're actually not going to use a ruler, but we're going to make one. So you need your scissors. Go ahead and get your scissors out. So you can use a ruler to measure length. We've just talked about that. A ruler has a one foot long, uh, sorry, a ruler that is one foot long shows 12 inches in one foot. A ruler that is three feet long is called a yardstick. Remember yesterday we talked about yards as how many feet? Three, three feet. Three. And there you go. There are three feet in a yard. But right now we're going to make ourselves a little one and we're going to make ourselves a little ruler. And I have these grids like this. You're going to have some too. And we're going to cut out these squares. Does anybody have any idea how big these squares might be? Okay, how can you double check? Using the benchmarks that we learned yesterday, how can you double check your guess? Who would like to share how they can double check their guess if it's an inch? We used our thumb. What, to what part of our thumb do we measure? Okay, she's pointing to this line right here of your thumb, right here where it bends. So you can check and see, remember that was a benchmark? Does that look about an inch? Yep. Yeah. See? yeah, it looks like it's about an inch. And it is in fact an inch, I made them that way. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut out your um, squares. We're not going to cut out individual squares. You're going to cut out strips. It looks like I believe you'll get, be able to get two inches, two squares. I'm sorry, two strips of. I want to make a foot. How many inches do I need to have in my foot? And I'm going to cut two strips to create those 12 inches. How many squares should I have in each strip? Six. Six in each, so I have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 
And then I'm going to tape them together. That's why the tape's there. I want to make it as straight as possible because I'm making myself a ruler. There you go. It's okay that I tape it. There you go. And now I've made myself a ruler. How long is my ruler? 12 inches. Oh, I'm getting two different answers. I'm getting 12 feet, 12 inches and a foot. Talk to your neighbors about how, if that's okay. It says, how does a foot compare to an inch? So I'm going to take one of my squares, and I'm going to put it right there. How can I write in words how those two compare? Who would like to use their words to tell me how does an inch relate to a foot? Okay, he's saying it's 1 out of 12. Does anybody want to use their words to tell me what he's saying? What is Shane telling us? What do you think, Avani? He, okay, so Avani is saying that he's kind of saying like a grade when you do, where you have 12 and you're doing, it's 1 out of 12. Okay? Does anybody have a different explanation? Sophia? Okay. Did anybody do something along different lines? So we had 1 out of 12, and we had that 12 inches equals a foot. Did anybody go a totally different direction? There are 12 inches. In, okay, so there's inches in a, just in general. The, a foot is made up of inches. Well, we just went over these three steps here. We cut out our inches. We put them together in a, a measure tape. And we compared how the one inch compares to the one foot, 12 inches and a foot. Okay, so we've done this whole front side already. Emma has four feet of thread. She needs 50 inches of thread to make some bracelets. How can she determine if she has enough thread to make the bracelets? Since one foot is 12 times as long as one inch, you can write feet as inches by multiplying the number of feet by 12. Let's talk about what that means. If I have one foot, how many inches is that? If I had one foot, how many inches is that class? 12, 12 inches. inches. Now imagine I have two feet. All right, I want to hear your guesses. 24. Oh my goodness, that's a really good guess. How did you come up with 24? How did you come up with 24, Malia? I did 12 times 2 because that equals 24. 12 times 2 because that equals 24. You said that you did that because it equals 24. Did you know you were trying to get 24? Well, because I, I, I knew that the first one was 12 because it, that's the foot equals, so I times 12 by 2 because that's the foot. Okay, so you did 12 times 2 because 12 is a foot, 12 inches is a foot, and you had two of them? All right, so she did 12 times 2 equals 24 inches. 12 times 3. Here's a tough one. I know. Raise your hand when you have 12 times 3. What do you guys have? 36. How many inches are going to be in 4 feet? What is my method? I don't want to know the answer. I want to know my method. Benny? 4 times 12? Give me a yes or no if you agree with that. Okay. Well, someone said that I could do... 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Would that work too? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to do 4 times 12 because everybody said I should do that, or I can do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. And what should I get? 48. 48. And so 5 feet. Raise your hand when you know how many inches will be in 5 feet. Okay, class, what did you get? 16. All right, am I done? No. Who can tell me what part of this problem I'm forgetting to do? Raise a quiet hand if you can tell me what part of this problem I've forgotten to do. Horace, tell me what have I forgotten to do? You forgot to compare the four and the four feet and the fifty inches. I forgot to do four feet and fifty inches. Where are you getting that from? The Okay, the word problem. Remember, I'm doing a word problem. We can't forget to do, go back and look at what was the question in the first place. I want you to go ahead and underline in your book what is the question. Okay, so how can she determine if she has enough thread to make the bracelets? And she has how much thread? Four feet. And how much does she need? 
Inches and feet are different things, so that's why we check to see how many inches that would be total. And if she has four feet of thread, how many inches does she have? Look at our chart before you answer. Raise your hand when you know. Does Emma have enough to make the necklaces that she wants to make? I'm getting mostly no. How many inches does she have? Forty-eight. How many inches is she short? Two. I see that. What if Emma has five feet of thread? Would she have enough thread to make the bracelets? What did you guys decide? Would she? Yes. How much would she have? Sixty. And how much does she need? Fifty. So does she have extra? Yes. How much extra does she have? Ten. All right, we're moving on. Compare the size of a yard to the size of a foot. Now we already talked yesterday and today a little bit. How many feet are in a yard? <coughs> Three. I'm seeing some fingers. I'm hearing some voices. How many? Three. So looking at my yard here in these three boxes, what do you think it wants me to write? Raise a quiet hand if you have an idea. What do you think it wants me to write in each one of these boxes? What do you think it want, they want me to write in the boxes? Foot. So one foot, one foot, and this, mine is fat, but you can write one foot, one foot, one foot. So one yard is how many times as long as what, how many feet or foot? Let's look at this real quick. It's saying foot. A foot is how many foots? Three. three. No, a foot is how many foots? One. Two. One. It can only be one. Because when it's more than one, what does it become? Three. So the clue that it says foot gives us a clue that it's only one. Yeah. So a yard, a yard is how many times, a yard is this many times as long as one foot. And, and Angelie, three. three times. I already know how feet and inches relate. Who can tell me again, how do feet and inches relate? Preston. 12 inches equal one foot. 12 inches equal one foot. So two feet is how many inches? 24. 24. <coughs> when I'm comparing yards and feet, I want you to think about how many feet are in a in one yard. Think about it. Talk to your neighbor. How many feet are in a yard? So how many feet are in one yard? Three. three. So in three yards, there's nine. nine. nine.